Two days after our initial report on Monday about conditions inside the Green River Correctional Complex, a state prison where two inmates have died of COVID-19, Kentucky's Department of Corrections began publishing data on its website about confirmed cases in state prisons. But many call that information misleading. Focus investigative reporter Paula Vassan is bringing us more on why, along with exclusive images inside the state prison taken secretly by an inmate there. Shannon Coulter fears for her 25-year-old son, an inmate at Green River Correctional Complex. She says as COVID-19 is spreading, the state prison isn't doing enough. He told me that they were not being issued soap or hand sanitizer. We obtained these exclusive images from inside the prison, taken on April 30th by an inmate there who wants to remain anonymous. He says they show a restroom shared by about 50 inmates without soap. He says this photo shows lack of social distancing, and this one shows people not wearing protective gear, even though he says inmates have been given two masks each. They're still human beings. It's why lawyer Trisha Lister and her colleagues have filed petitions with the court, demanding safer conditions for eight inmates at the prison. They didn't receive a death sentence. The petitions call their treatment cruel and unusual. They're directed at warden Kevin Maza, claiming he isn't following CDC guidelines on COVID-19. And she says the data proves it. The data shows so far, two inmates at Green River have died from COVID-19. More than 40 others have tested positive, higher than any other state prison in the Commonwealth. Lister says the numbers at other prisons, most showing zeros, likely underrepresent actual cases of COVID-19. Unless they tell us what percentage of the inmates have been tested, this really is almost meaningless. We asked the Department of Corrections that question directly. They haven't responded. Coulter says she feels it's only a matter of time until her son is part of their statistic. He has a family here that loves him, that wants him home. For Focus, I'm Paula Vassan.